Hi, and welcome to At Home Art Lessons with the Art Groupies, developing great art habits with this groupie. Her name is Wanda. Wanda understands the art worlds. She knows that there is more to art than just creating. She makes connections with the art of other cultures to find personal meaning and inspiration. With Wanda, we're going to take a field trip. And we're going to take a field trip with this guy. His name is John Bonovich. He is an American artist from the state of Montana. Now John has been inspired by the movie The Jungle Book and also his father who loved the outdoors. This is his painting of zebras. Yes, I said painting. It is not a photograph. This is Mr. Bonovich's artwork. He creates impressive details because he goes out and spends time with the animals in their habitat. He has a dr dramatic portrayal of wildlife. So we are going to be inspired by his zebras and we're going to create form and we're going to create texture and we're going to create a collage. So this is a this is an actual photograph of a zebra. What do you think comes first, the white or the black stripes? Hmm. I might have that answer for you later. So again, we're going to create form. We're going to use shapes to make our zebra's body. We're going to start with the simple letter U and we're going to make it on a slant and we're going to do it at the top of our paper. So after we make our U, we're then down towards the bottom part. We're going to make a line here and a line here and that's going to be for our zebra's neck. We can add some ears, the top part of his head, and now we're going to use an oval or you can use a rectangle to create our zebra's body. Zebras have tails just like horses. They have four legs and hoofs like a horse. That leg's a little bit too wide. You can make his the other legs that are on the other side a little smaller. So there's my zebra. Looks just like a horse, but what makes it a zebra is the texture. We're going to just use some scraps of black paper, and what I like you to do is use your fingers to tear and rip the paper into strips. Don't worry about the length. If things are a little too long, when we go to cut out our zebra, we can just cut out the pieces that we don't need or that are too long. So don't be worried about the length. So I ripped my zebra stripes using black scrap paper and I'm going to lay my glue down where I'd like to put my stripes. Now amazingly enough, when zebras are born, they are black with what appears to be and what looks like white polka dots. And as the zebra gets older, those polka dots turn into stripes. So a zebra <clears throat> is black with white stripes. Amazing. So see how my um, stripe is a little bit bigger than the body? Again, not to worry. We can even think about tearing that off a little bit um, so we can use the thinner pieces for the, the leg, the stripes on the leg. So I think I'll do that here before I fully lay that down. I can use that stripe here and again if it's a little bit too big, not to worry. When we go to cut it out, <clears throat> we can worry about it then. Get rid of 
a stroke there. So this is our zebras, inspired by the famous American artist, John Bonovich. His art looked like photographs. He is incredible. I really thought his pictures were photographs and he was a photography artist. <laughs> Silly me. And he really does get that beautiful detail by um, taking a very long time to create his art, not rushing. And he believes he got this um, type of uh, mentality or worksmanship by becoming a bodybuilder first. To become a, a bodybuilder and a personal trainer, you have to have a type of mindset that you have to work hard all the time. And with that mindset, he became a artist that took his time. So there is my zebra. I created texture with the stripes of my zebra. Now I'm going to cut the zebra out. So this piece of art that we're going to be working on is considered a collage. So I'm starting with a blue background and then I'm going to add pieces from uh, scraps that I have in my scrap box that I've saved from pieces of art that were mistakes or that I didn't do very well. I kept that paper and I'm going to use that to make the background or the habitat in which my zebra comes from. I'm going to use some greens for the grasslands because that's where zebras live in grasslands. There's three different species of zebras, believe it or not. The zebra that lives in the further south part of Africa, um, his stripes are actually further apart than the other two species. So I have my zebra. I'm going to now add some details with a black marker. I'm going to color in his hooves. Now, even stripes are on a zebra's tail, believe it or not. So I'm going to draw in my stripes. I'm going to leave two circles for his nostrils because a zebra's snout is usually black. Draw in his eyes. He has usually stripes right down the center of his face. Now zebras are also very social animals. They like to hang out together and they are usually found in great big herds. And there's usually one who's the leader and he's usually a stallion, a boy um, zebra. And he will alert the other zebras when there's trouble. And he'll do that by a, a specific type of call or grunt that he'll make. They can run up to 35 miles an hour. Um, they're quite fast. And even when the zebras are asleep, um, one zebra will remain awake to be like a lookout. So right now, I'm now cutting into strips but not all the way through to make it appear that there is going to be grass in my grassland for my zebra. I'm going to use a couple different colors of green or should I say tints of green. And now I can also take 
my pencil and wrap some of the green strips around the pencil to make that texture or the grass of my grasslands appear a little bit more natural or give it some texture. So again, I'm going to cut some strips. You can do a variety of thinness, thickness, and have fun with this. I'm starting out in the foreground, and I can go ahead and overlap my greenery. Put in my zebra, cut out a sun. Maybe I'll have some greenery in the background as well. that overlap. You can also have some mountains in the background. The more things you put into your collage, the more exciting it will be. Maybe I could put in some clouds, some more greenery in the background. So, maybe add another mountain in here, or a hill, put in another cloud for my sky. So voila, there is my collage, and I'll go ahead and glue that stuff down. Um, so there is my collage of my zebra. We took a field trip to Africa with our artist, John Bonovich. John Bonovich realized there was more to art than just creating. So the money that he generates through the sales of his pieces actually supports conservation efforts to promote habitat protection for animals in um, seven different countries. So John Bonovich is our famous artist that we are inspired by. So I hope you had fun making your zebra from Africa, and I'll see you later.